An electron is accelerated through 2600 volts from rest and then enters a region where there is a uniform 1.9 Tesla magnetic field. What are the maximum and minimum magnitudes of the magnetic field acting on this electron? So I think it was back in chapter 16 or 17 we defined a volt as equal to the potential energy divided by the charge. Now in this case we know that our electron is moving. It's being accelerated uh, through this from rest. So if we use the, the conservation of energy, we know that the change of potential energy is equal to the change of kinetic energy. And so anytime there's a potential energy, we can define this change as, uh, as the kinetic energy divided by the charge. So the voltage is going to equal is going to equal one half of the mass times the velocity squared divided by divided by the charge. The force of a magnetic field on a charge is given by the equation F is equal to Q times velocity times the magnetic field times sine of theta. You get a maximum charge whenever the sine of theta is equal to 90, uh, the sine of 90 degrees and sine theta becomes 1. You get a minimum uh, force whenever the sine of theta is equal to the sine of 0 degrees and that whole term becomes 0 and cancels out. And so we already know our minimum force is going to be 0 newtons. But our maximum force, so F equals QV B sine theta, we've got to solve for V. So the V is in the velocity, not V is in the volts. So if I multiply over Q and I multiply over 2, I'll get 2QV is equal to MV squared. And I'll divide by V, so 2Q times the voltage divided by M is equal to v, the velocity squared. And then I'll just take the square root, the square root of this term, and it will equal the velocity. So the maximum force is equal to Q times the square root of 2QV over M times, uh, times the magnetic field. And so you actually have all the numbers now that you need. You got the, the charge on an electron is a constant. It's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. And that will go here and here. The mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. And so I, I gave you the first one in coulombs, second one in kilograms. The, the magnetic field, oh, don't, don't forget that the volts is given in the problem as 2600, so 2600 goes here. Then the magnetic field is 1.9 Tesla. When you plug all that in, the maximum force should equal uh, approximately 9.187 times 10 to the negative 12th Newtons. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.